guys, it's your favorite animatronic girl, the Dark Jerry here, and it is time to check in on our ant colonies. Yay! See you there! Hey guys, it's your favorite animatronic girl, the Dark Jerry here, and as you can see, I've got a couple of feeder worms set up. We're going to go ahead and give our ant girls some food. So give me a moment, guys, so I can get this set up so you can see. Alright. I will show you guys this in a moment. That's a, another colony that I have. But first, we're going to go ahead and take care of feeding our ant girls. So let's get these worms here. We got those girls stairs. I'm sure they will start feeding here soon enough, guys. Um, mind you guys, it is also winter right now. So, um, these ants are a little bit less active, guys. They're not quite as active. What you see here is an onion that I'm growing. Um, as it gives kind of a good plant smell and fresh smell to the inside of the colony there. And now, I can show you guys these girls real quick before I feed them. Because it's time for these girls to get a name. As you can see, let me grab the camera so I can show you guys better. But as you can see, we have another colony right here. And she is easily agitated by the light which I apologize to her for that, but she needs a name, and her colony is very strong, you guys, like, as you can see, it goes, and we've got them inside of this small ant, AC ant tower, by the way, guys, all products that I use can be found on Ants Canada, so, um, AntsCanada.com, so, you guys can find that there, if that's what you're trying to locate, let's go ahead and cover them up, because they're getting agitated, and I don't like agitating my girls, Now we pop it open so I can show you guys what's going on on the inside. Let me zoom out a little bit. So that white stuff that you see there on the dirt is actually some um, sugar that I turned into a solid state. We've got, um, looks like a small ant has fallen into the honey. That's not good. So we're going to rescue her. Come here, sweetheart. Let's get you over here where you can get that off of you so you don't drown. So, as you can see, guys, I am very prone to saving my aunt's lives. Um, she'll be able to get that off of her now and actually continue on. Unfortunately, we do have, it looks like, one drowning. But that happens from time to time, so it's no big deal. Let's go ahead and get these girls fed real quick, guys. So we grab our super worm, and yes guys, these are um, the Vita worms, these are the protein enhanced worms, so they've got a little bit of additional protein, it's one of the reasons that my colonies tend to grow so fast. No you don't, hold still, come here off camera bud. Alright, now we've got the ant girls fed, you guys, which is awesome. But again, because it is winter, they're not very active, so there's no real point in showing you guys too much. Let me get this moved back under its red light. Okay. 
let's go ahead and go over this way real quick, guys, so I can show you some stuff. As you can see, um, Queen Dark Noir and her colony are consistently getting larger and larger, which I love very much. You know, it's so awesome, you guys. I love it. It's great. And as you can see, they're kind of all over inside of their little water tube there. and They should... Ah, there we go. Yes. Yes. They are eating, you guys. Good. Good, good, good. That makes me very, very happy. As you can see, they've got their little honey pot there, so they've got plenty of sugars and stuff. And then these guys here have plenty of sugars and stuff down in there. It's just hard to see through that one specific spot. But let's take a look and see if the girls are getting out that worm yet, which they probably aren't. Yeah, not at least from this angle. They're probably around the other side of it. We've got a little ant girl there who's trying her darndest to get cleaned off at the moment, I think. I'm sure another ant will come along and help clean her up, because that's usually how ants are. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, guys, they've got their own little displays that are kind of slightly different themed. Like this one is a kind of a desert theme where there's in there where Queen Dark Noir is, um, is absolutely themed for, um, like, well runs off the mountainsides and things. Anyhow, guys, this specific colony here inside of the AC Ant Tower needs a name. Um, the queen is already named. Her name is Queen Susan. Um, but the colony itself needs a name. So if you guys want to leave a comment in the um, comment bar below on what you think they should be named, let me know. Let's check in on these girls and see how they're feeding. Zoom in a bit. Look at them go. Already starting to swarm, you guys. I love it. I love it. Anyhow, let me give you a full-on display here real quick of the entirety of the inside of their home. And then, sorry for the light reflection, guys. Um, as you can see, there are some fake roses back there and a bunch of crystals and stuff. I've got this nice little um, aluminum plant there that um, I've had all the edges rounded off so they can't hurt themselves with it. We've got a nice little fake bush there, and otherwise they've got some nice little landscaping. Um, the dirt inside of here is actually um, North Dakota clay, or South Dakota clay, sorry, South Dakota clay. But it's totally amazing. They've got some geodes there in the back. If we zoom in, we can kind of see those. There's an amethyst geode back there. You know, there's a bunch of crystals that I've put into it also. So they've got a pretty nice, comfortable home. And they are definitely, definitely having a good time with that meal. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for loving the ant girls like you do. You guys are awesome. This is the Animatronic Girl, signing off. I love ya. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that thumb till it's blue, and to throw your bullet stuff. Anyhow, gotta run. Bye.